How's it going YouTube? Today we're gonna be doing another deck profile, this time featuring my Mordalian deck. This is a new card or a new deck that came out with DZBTO3, Dimensional Ascendance. So with that new deck, new deck profile, just wanted to show you guys what mine looked like and kind of talk about how the deck functions and where it's really at in the meta right now. Before we get into it, we're gonna quickly talk about our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. If you haven't heard of 50 Cards, it's an online store where you can pick up all your Vanguard needs, including singles, play sets, deck boxes, sleeves, whatever you need for Vanguard, 50 Cards is gonna have it. And you can use code Nexus to get 5% off at checkout. And without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go into the ride deck. So it's gonna be all of the undercover ride line cards and we'll go into them in just a sec. So the starter is Serendis, which is like every starter, go in second, you draw a card. The grade one is Onyx, which is also the same name as my cat, but spelled differently, but obviously I resonate with that a lot. So what Onyx does is when you ride it on top of the starter, where it's Serendis, you can reveal a grade three more ride onto your ride deck. If you do, you search for a monitor Tist set order card and you add it to your hand. So what's really cool about the Tists is you can discard them for your ride deck, which kind of you know helps you ride for free essentially. So I like the ride line because they all kind of do the same thing. Second skill is continuous during a turn. If your order zone has two or more Tists, this gets 2K. So that's pretty good. If you want to run more undercover Onyxes in the main deck, it has a 10K beater, 10K booster scale. Grade two is we run on far. So on far is similar to Onyx where it lets you search your deck for a Tist after you reveal Mordalian from your ride deck. And so the Tists are, again, are really good because you can discard them because you can play them from your drop zone. And it also has, if your order zone has two or more monitor Tists, this gets 5K, so it's a 15K beat stick, which is cool. So the whole point of the ride deck is to pull the Tists out of your deck and play them pretty consistently each turn the minute you get to grade two. And then finally is our boss card, which is Mordalian. So what Mordalian does is continuous. If you have three or more Tists, all your undercover cards get 5K, which is really nice. So if you have a you know full deck undercover, you know, it's a pretty big boost to all your units. Has an act ability once per turn, energy blast two. Look at the top seven of your deck and then you choose the same number of cards equal to the number of Tists in your uh, set order zone. If they don't have any undercover gauges on them, you can choose cards from those top seven and put it under any of your tists that currently do not have any undercover gauges. We'll get into what undercover gauges are in a bit, but I'm gonna go into the third skill, which is when this unit attacks, you counterblast one, choose two cards from your undercover, with undercover in their names, from your undercover gauge, call them to rear in the same column. So the whole point of the deck is basically you're using your set order zone to put undercover units from your deck underneath the under undercover tists. Let's just call it that for now. And then you pull them out from the tists to your board. So it's kind of like playing with the second deck in a way uh, with a lot more steps involved. But with that out of the way, this is pretty much the ride line. Uh, and now we're just gonna go ahead and go into the main deck. Set those there for a second. Starting off with the grade threes, we run three more copies of Mordalian. We kind of already went over this Mordalian skill, but we're running multiple copies for the undercover name and of course for Persona Ride. Then we run four copies of Upski Died. Yeah, the guy from Ava, he's in this deck now, he's undercover. So what Upski Died does is if it's in the gauge zone, you can Soul Blast one to call him to a back row center rear. If your Vanguard has undercover in its name, this card can attack from the back row center rear and it gets 10K. Its third skill is when it attacks from the back row center. If you have a Vanguard with undercover and you your opponent's grade three and you have not performed any drive checks from a rear guard, you can Soul Blast one. This can perform a drive check. It gets drive minus one, so it's only a single drive and it swings. After it swings, it goes to the bottom of your deck. So what I like about this card obviously is that, you know, it gets a drive check, but it's a fourth swing, which is really nice. And it can call itself out really easily, making it so that when you set it up for the main phase, you can still use Mordalian to kind of put it back under uh, an undercover gauge or a test so that, you know, you can build a board really easily. So obviously we're running four up die because that's kind of like the theme of the deck. It's getting off four attacks with your, one of your attacks being with, you know, with drive checks, which is nice. So multi-attacking and being able to pull cards out of your gauge zone or, you know, five attacks technically. So multi-attacking is kind of what this deck is all about. Lastly, for grade threes, we're running two copies of Zace Zois. That's, yeah, that's his name, Zoice. Very simple, grade three skill. It's just if your order zone is two or more Tis, this gets 5K, cannot be retired by opponent's card effects. So it's it's just a simple 5K beater, but obviously if you have three Tis, 
Mordalian gives everything an extra five, so it's a 23 by itself, 33 if you're Persona Riot, so it's just cards with the undercover name, because specifically Mordalian can only call out cards with undercover in their name from the Tist, you know, undercover gauge zone thing. We're, we're getting the terminology all mixed up here, but you guys kind of get the idea. So we're only running two in this variant. I've seen lists that run three, but I'm comfortable with two. So we're gonna go ahead and move these over and go ahead and get into the grade twos. Starting off, we've got four copies of Dara. Dara is a new triple R card that came out in set three. It's specific to undercover units and shadow paladins. So what it does, if you have a Vanguard undercover or only shadow paladin for its clan, you can kind of blast one, look at the top five, choose a card undercover, or Shadow Paladin in its clan from among them and put it in your hand. And then when it attacks a grade three or greater unit, if you have a Vanguard Undercover or Shadow Paladin in its clan, you soul us one and it gets 10K. So it's a good beat stick. It's good for filling your hand with, you know, key cards that you're looking for. And it has Undercover in its name. So meaning you can pull it out. You can do its effect when you place it from the test, which is really cool. So getting card advantage is really helpful. So Dara is a good card for that. Move that over a little bit. Then I'm running two more copies of Antoir. <laughs> What's your name again? Ant Antar? Onfar. Onfar is his name. We're running two more copies just because it's a 15K beater and it has Undercover in its name. So just, you know, we pull it out during our battle phase. So it's nice to make like a 23K column really easily. It'll be 33 if you have three tists on your board. So pretty good numbers right there. 43 with Persona Ride. So we're just doing it to make numbers and because it has the name. Then for order cards, these are the monitored tists. So these are these. <laughs> these are the cards that you're searching from your ride deck. So you're pulling this out of your, or pulling this out from your deck every time you're going through your, you know, your ride phase. It can only be played if you have a Vanguard with undercover in its name, and you can play it from your drop zone, meaning you can discard it when you go into your ride turn to ride cards and then you can play them from your drop zone, which is really cool. So what this does is when it's placed in your aura zone, you look at the top seven, choose a card from among them, put it face down under this card as an undercover gauge. So this is what helps you produce undercover gauges or turn cards into gauges. If you are familiar with Buddy Fight, this is essentially the ambush mechanic. So if you're familiar with that deck or you vied with that deck a lot uh, for Buddy Fight, this deck is basically the exact same thing. So we're definitely running four tests because we wanna have get up to three. You can only put one card under a test. So you wanna have multiple copies of tests to be able to call out multiple units. So we definitely wanna run for that. Lastly, for our Regalis piece, running Twin Cast, which also came out in set three. So Twin Cast is unique because it's a Regalis piece that you can use twice, once, when you blitz order with it to give your unit 10K until the end of the battle, and then you can use it again from your drop zone when your unit's being attacked, you remove it from the game, and you give your Vanguard 5K for each of that unit's grade. So if you're on grade three, 15K power until the end of the battle. So I, the reason we're running Twin Cast is because this deck struggles a lot with defense. So being able to use this early or being able to use this twice, you know, right away, play with it, and then you remove it for more shields. So I do like the twin cast just so I can make a better defense because you need to wait an extra turn to get to your third test just to make the deck really pop off. So we're running this just to help us get there. But that is it for the grade twos. I'm just gonna move these over a bit and then we'll get into the grade ones. Starting off for Saragion. I know, I know it's Saragion and like every Keter Sanctuary deck is pretty much running this card, but I couldn't help myself. This card is too good. Sargon is at the end of the battle this boost. If you have more rearguards than your opponent or you played in order this turn, it gets 5k. And at the end of the battle, you retire this unit, look at the top two, choose a card from among them, put it in your hand, the rest go to the bottom. Obviously you're playing in order every single turn. So even if your opponent has more rearguards, this is gonna go off regardless. So I just had to, it's such a good card. If you have Sargons, great, run them. If you don't, um, there is another grade one you can run, uh, give me, one sec. If you don't have Sargons, you can run this. This is Triffin. Uh, what it does is at the end of the battle, this boosted. If your opponent's Vanguard's grade three, you retire this, give your Vanguard 10K. I just like this because it gives Mordalian power. Mordalian doesn't get power until you have three Tis, so it being 13K for a turn or two kind of sucks, but making it 23 is nice. And obviously it, this retiring itself helps you free up a back row. So I think this is a good substitute in the meantime to kind of apply more pressure to your opponent. So if you don't have Saragons, you can run this instead. 
Moving on with the rest of the grade ones, we're running four copies of Tigris. Tigris is an undercover unit, so at the end of the battle that boosted, you energy blast two, it goes back to your hand, which is nice because you boost with it, bounce it, and then you call a new column. So you're not really losing anything. And then it also has, when it's put in the guard circle, you can put an undercover unit from your drop zone the bottom of your deck. It gets an extra 5k shield. So I did mention this deck kind of struggle, struggles with defense. So having units that gain shield is really nice. And obviously this going to your hand means you're filling up your hand for more shield, which is always helpful. Has undercover in the name, meaning you can put it in the gauge, pull it out later. So, you know, we run four copies for the name and also because of the effect. Then we're running two more copies of Onyx uh, because of the name specifically. There aren't any better undercover units at the moment, really. Uh, but I do like having more copies because it does get the extra 2K and it's a good beater or a good booster. So if you want to make a column, uh, you can make a nice little column with uh, these two where, you know, you make a little 20, 23K, 28K column here. Uh, you know, 38, 48, depending on how much power you're getting. So putting, calling out these two in a column is really nice. So I like the option for that. Lastly, for grade ones, we're running PGs, but not just any PG, Shadow Paladin PGs. So it says Drag Saver Ezra's. This came in the Luard Stride deck set, and it has Shadow Paladin in its clan name, meaning that you can search it with Dira. So Dira lets you look at the top five, look for a Shadow Paladin. You can add this to your hand. So even though it doesn't have undercover, it's still really nice to be able to add PGs to your hand. So I do like having the four copies of Ezra's for that. You could also run a single Elementary Synctitude, but I do just like the consistency of the four PGs, uh, but it's up to you. If you really want to have the Elementary for the free PG against, you know, triple drive units, go for it. I just like having the consistency of four searchable PGs. And with that, we're just going to go ahead and move on to our triggers. So starting off, uh, our over trigger is going to be our Martinoa. I decided to go with this as opposed to like our other non-nation uh, over triggers because we do have a lot of grade threes in this deck and being able to get off triple drive or giving regards drive check in general is really nice uh, to apply a lot of pressure. So I do want to stick with that. And I think it's really beneficial, especially if you're swinging with Mordalian first and you get this off. Your Upski died is now Twin Drive and you don't have to pay the cost. And then obviously if you do go into Upski Guide and you are lucky enough to get your OT off that drive check, your other two rear guards swinging with drive checks is still really nice. All the scenarios I've thought about with the other over triggers still kind of playing around the deck, but I do like Armatanoa. Just seems very basic, very simple. So sticking with that. Then of course we're sticking with our traditional Keter lineup. We got our four Blade Feather Dragon crits. We got our four vanilla crits. We're doing the uh, reprint crit from Festival Booster. We got our three Alpac, which got reprinted in Fest, uh, sorry, D, uh, DZBT03. So this is a recent reprint, which is really nice. So that was very helpful being able to get more copies of that. And of course, lastly, our four heals. I'm currently not doing anything crazy with heal triggers. I'm just sticking with the vanillas. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really crazy going on here. It's very, you know, simple. The deck definitely falls behind a little bit when it comes to speed and resources, but I think the theme alone is really cool and really fun. If you're into Shadow Paladin, dark themed uh, decks, but you also really like Knights, this is a really fun deck for you. And I'm really hoping to get some good support in the near future, but we'll see. I just overall really connected with this deck just for its night themes, but obviously the grade one being named Onyx, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely building this deck. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other deck profiles if you're interested in any other Vanguard decks that we have available. Obviously be sure to check out our sponsor, which is 50 cards. You can pick up nation bundles, uh, which are basically you get a full play set of any card you need from a specific nation from a specific upcoming set so you don't have to worry about buying singles with the market and how it is be sure to check them out for that and you can get an additional five percent off with code nexus but yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching real quick before the video ends i wanted to mention that we are planning on doing a giveaway so if you haven't already seen it we did an unboxing video for set three so when the video gets up to 200 likes we're gonna be doing a giveaway for not just one but two boxes of Dimensional Transcendence. So if you're interested in potentially winning a box for a giveaway, be sure to check out our unboxing video. Be sure to leave it a like. It helps support the channel and it helps us with being able to do more giveaways like this in the future. Be sure to check it out, leave a like, and when the video goes live with the 200 likes, there will be a link with all the details on how to do the giveaway. So go from there. And with that, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the deck profile and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, do you, 
Do you guys want to see what sleeves I'm using for my undercover deck? Get it? You think, you think you're playing against Shadow Paladin, but you're really playing against Undercover. Get it? Because you, you think you're playing against, you think you're playing, but, but actually they're, because they're, because they're undercover. Never mind. 